It's no surprise the total solar eclipse has caught the attention of many people. After taking an astrology class at Concordia University, Antoinette McConnell realized she wanted to change her education major to biology. It so happens that Dr. Johnston is a aficionado of uh, radio telescopy and radio astronomy, and something that in her um, trainings that she has done to just further her own education. Dr. Mary Kay Johnson at Concordia University experienced five eclipse sightings in 30 years all around the globe, including Antarctica and Argentina. Her interest in eclipse sightings inspired her to teach it at the university. I learned so much from her about radio technology. Um, it's a side of astronomy that I don't think a lot of people realize is there or how much that we can get from it. Under the mentorship of Dr. Johnson, McConnell is taking part of the Radio Jove project with NASA, where she will use radio telescope to study this eclipse. We can piggyback off of other uh, radio scientists who are out there, use their uh, readings from their telescopes, and make science applicable inside of the classroom settings. On Monday, McConnell will be studying the radio frequency and wavelengths of the total solar eclipse. It tells an even greater story of what's going on in space and how are things that you might not see on an everyday basis, like these atoms, how are they interacting with each other and how is that influencing the uh, magnetic fields around these planets? In North Austin, I'm Jessica Rivera, Fox 7 Austin News.